He seems ill-tempered. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class, Cogman! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a nice image of Cogman. His name is Cogman. Hey, look, it's from a movie, Transformers! On this side of the box, we have that same image of Cogman, and all you need to know about him is that he is an intrepid protector. That's all you need to know. Any more and he'd have to kill you. On this side of the box, Transformers! And just the rest of the picture. He's a deluxe class, a class of deluxe, a class of deluxe, a class of deluxe. On the top, you got Prime, B, Drift. On the bottom, words and things and copyrights. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, your cross sells warning! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Cogman. A very neat figure, in my opinion. So first we will take a look at, uh, at Cogman. At Cogman himself, because technically, this is not Cogman. This is Cogman. This is a dude we saw in the movie, the actual headmaster. So here we have little Cogman. You can see it. The head is pretty nicely detailed. Unfortunately, no paint on. He's got the big belly button screw. Well, you know, some nice details on the body. There actually is quite a bit of paint work. On this, you can see the upside down face on his back. A lot of paint work on the face. It actually looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, they didn't actually paint this, which is quite unfortunate, but oh well, it is what it is. But yeah, there's Cogman. Articulation wise, he has a ball jointed head, so you get a little bit of wiggly waggly. The arms are on a ball joint, they can't move out that far. They can only go up that far. Legs can go forward. They can go a little bit back. The knees can swing both ways. And that's pretty much it for. Little Cogman's articulation. And for comparison, here he is with a Fans Project Headmaster. And here he is with a G1 Headmaster. So he's a wee, wee little guy. So there you have Cogman. So we'll put Cogman off to the side for now. And now we will take a look at the vehicle here. So as you can see, it is a Aston Martin. And a very, very nice one out of that. And it's cast in that uh, silver-ish plastic. And you can see he has some transparent plastic up front here for the headlights. You got some black up front. Uh, Autobot symbol right there on the side. The rims are done in silver and looks quite nice. The roof of the car done in that matte black with some of that gray. And the back you have some red there for the taillights. Some more black going across for the rear bumper. There's the underside. And yeah, he rolls. As rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And yeah. They have that. And for comparison, we got quite a few comparisons here. There he is with Hotrod. Here he is with Crosshairs. Here he is with Bumblebee. Here he is with Drift. Here he is with Hound. Here he is with Optimus Prime. And here he is with Mi Amigo Squeaks! That's Mi Amigo Squeaks! There you go. So you have all the comparisons right there. Now he does include one accessory. He has a sword. Hey, we saw this sword in the movie. Oh! And it's just done. Uh, cast in black with the blade just painted gray. You can see. Nice little details going on in there. You can store the sword in vehicle mode. You just have a tab right there that will go into a slot right there on the handle. And that just plugs in like that. And that is how the sword stores right there. So it kind of makes for a very long exhaust pipe there. But there you go. And of course you can have little Cogman driving the car. You can just open up. This front section right here, it's on double hinge. Let's take it and bring that back. And you can see the interior is actually pretty nicely detailed. No paint, unfortunately, but actually it's a pretty nicely detailed interior there. The console and everything. So you just get a little Cogman here into a seated position. 
And there is a, if you can see it right there, there's a little post there to plug into the bottom of his foot. There's one on each side, so you can have a passenger there if you want to. So if you want to take another Titan Master and have him ride along, you can do so. so you just kind of push Cogman's foot onto that post there, and then close it back up. And there you go. You can have Cogman chauffeuring Anthony Hopkins around. So, there you go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So we will remove the sword, put that off to the side. We'll take a little Cogman out and put him off to the side for now and get down to it. So this section right here, you just want to take and bring that back. You want to now take this section right here and pop this up and bring all this up on that double hinge right there get that out of the way and once you've done that you just untab these side sections here like that and then we can get started working on the legs so just split the legs you want to take this panel here and just swing that out and then bring the foot down once you do that you can take this panel fold that in bring it up against the leg and then rotate the leg at the thigh they have one leg all done. Second verse, just like the first. Bring that out. Bring that down. Fold that in. Bring that up. Rotate. And they have the legs all done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So let's get on to the upper body. Uh, this whole front grill section here just untabs from the bottom like that. And just bring that up a bit. And then you can just take the arms and bring them out and down. And then you just untab the arms right here, like that. And then you come in here, flip out the hand, bring the panel up. There you have an arm all done. Same thing on the other side, just untab, flip out the hand, bring that up. Now you have the arms all done. You wanna take a crotch here, bring that up right there to fill that in. And then this chest panel here, you can see all the detail here which is really nicely done and they painted all that a nice black wash in there. That looks really, really cool. But you bring that chest panel down, which is also nicely painted. And then what you do with the hood here is you just pull it up like that. Uh, take this whole grill and bumper section here, just fold that in. And then you just swing this around and then push it back in like that. And then you need to take this whole assembly here and just bring that up against his back. And you got that done. And there you have his body. And of course now he needs a head. So we bring in little Cogman here. Just fold him in half. Plug it in, plug it in. And there you have Cogman in robot mode. And he looks pretty good. I dig him. So let's get in close here on that noggin and uh, very nicely done. I love the paintwork on this guy. I think the paintwork looks really, really good. Unfortunately, it's not on the entire robot, but uh, what they did paint, I think looks wonderful. You got the nice gold paint in there, blue for the eyes. And you got like a black wash going on here on the chest to really make those details pop. You got the gold in there, along with that black wash, like a black and silver going on in there. Looks very nice. You got his belly, again, nicely detailed and nicely painted. So all those details just pop and that looks really, really good. Um, unfortunately, they didn't do that paint job on his arms. They just painted the gold on there. Eh, that kind of sucks, but oh well, it is what it is. As well as the thighs, no paint whatsoever on the thighs, unfortunately. And that really sucks. Um, coming down to the shins, again, very nicely done with that silver and that black in there with the gold. And his feet, again, nicely done. This really makes those details pop. I love that. And the back, you can see the car parts there. He's got the roof of his car, and the hood there is a backpack. So, it is what it is. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly-waggly. Not too much, otherwise you will just kind of start to pop his head off. Um, you do get full 360 degree rotation there no real up and down the shoulders are on a ball joint so you have a little bit of forward and backward movement there and do a full 360 can go in and out you can use a transformation hinge as well and hit himself in the head with his own shoulder if you want these shoulder pads are on a hinge so you can angle those however you want you do have rotation at the bicep 
You have an elbow joint with 90 degrees of bend. Uh, there is no uh, wrist movement except for the transformation hinge, which actually can be useful for sword poses. Um, nothing at the waist. Hips are on a ball joint. They can move forward that far, back that far, outward that far. You do have rotation at the thigh. You do have a knee joint, which works kind of weird because it actually, actually locks in that position. You have to unlock it. But you get 9 degrees of bend there at the knee, and the feet can move up due to transformation. And no real downward movement, slight bit of downward movement there. So there you go. Now you can have him holding his sword, and this is where the transformation joint comes in handy because you can actually bring his hand down and get some, some sword pointing poses out of him, which is pretty cool. So that hinge definitely comes in handy for posing. But yeah, there he is with his sword. Get him situated. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Hey, you stand, Cogman. You stand, sir. Say so you have lots of now for comparison. Actually, I take that back. One more thing I want to talk about before we get down to comparisons, because we can do this now. We can bring in Nitro. Now, if you remember when I reviewed Voyager Nitro here, um, I was wondering why his head comes off. Why is his head on a uh, on a Titan Master connection? And um, the only thing everybody kept telling me was, oh, it's because Cogman's a headmaster. I know Cogman's a headmaster, but what does that have to do with Nitro specifically? Why can't anybody else's head come off? Why is it just him and only him? That's the part that everybody kept leaving out. They just kept saying, because Cogman's a headmaster. Okay, and Nitro has what to do with that? That's the part that everybody kept leaving out. Um, but somebody on Twitter cleared this up for me. Now, supposedly there was a scene in the movie that got cut out where Cogman became the head for this body. So that's why Nitro has his head on a Titan Master connection. He's the only one that has his head on a Titan Master connection because it's to recreate that scene from the movie that we did not see because it got cut out of the movie. <laughs> so there you go. Yay, we can recreate that movie. I mean, we can re we can blah, 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 blah. This is where my tongue stops working. We can recreate that scene from the movie that we never saw. Yay, maybe it'll be in the Blu-ray. But anyway, there you go. There's Cogman on Nitro's body. Ah, so yeah, that. <laughs> so let's pop your head back on, yes, sir. Uh, get him situated. And now, for comparison... Let's just do a group shot here because people have been asking for a group shot. So here I'll give you your group shot. So there's Hound, Prime, Crosshairs, Drift, Bumblebee. I don't know if I can get them all in the shot. <laughs> That's why I don't do group shots. <laughs> there's Hotrod. There in the back. Hotrod fell. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. There's Hotrod. And of course, last but not least, Mi Amigo Squeaks! Mi Amigo Squeaks! There you go. There you have the Autobot team right there. So, there you have that and that and that. And that and that and that and that. And that and that and that. So there you go, there you have Cogman, a pretty neat figure, I do quite dig him. Um, my only real knock against the figure is that I just wish that this great paint job was all over the toy, like these, you know, bald spots here are just, you know, just really kind of throw everything off, but I mean the paintwork on it is lovely, just wish it was on the whole toy just to kind of make it all nice and coherent like it's my only real complaint there but although he's a fun toy i dig him so yeah, you have that so if you would like this or any other transformers movie toys you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com for availability there will be a link in the description down below so check that out you can also check out my transformers movie toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Cogman, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be geek, be proud.
Home in your face. Come now, we must get a move on. Hi, who are you to be giving us orders, you C-3PO looking- Oh! Lead the way!